Hello and welcome to Tip Ticks, where I, Ashley, share some of my most used tips and tricks that I've learned in my career as a PowerPoint presentation designer. Today we will be doing a little bit of meddling with image editing in PowerPoint. I've divided this tutorial into two parts, so I'll add the link here and at the end of the video once it's been launched. Be sure to subscribe if this is a topic that you're interested in. Let's get started. So let's start off by opening up our format panel and looking at picture corrections. You'll find sharpness, brightness, and contrast adjustments that you can use to tweak your image to get it just right. So here I have a beautiful stock image, but say I want the focus to be a little bit softer. I can take that sharpness toggle and drag it down to make the image blurrier and have less harsh details. Or if I like the image, but it's a little out of focus, Bring it up to make it just a little bit sharper. With brightness, I can bring the overall lightness down to make the entire image darker or up to lighten it. I do find lighting pictures too much can cause some interesting issues depending on the photo. So I usually try to stay below the 50% mark. With contrast, as you drag the slider down, your image becomes flatter and gives more gray tones between the colors. And as you increase the contrast, the difference between colors gets harsher with more black and white and less gray tones. Now, say I want this photo to be a background image for content. And right now it's a little too distracting. I can bring the sharpness down and the brightness up a little bit and maybe even the contrast to give a little bit more of a punch. Or if I have white text, I can decrease the brightness and the contrast and maybe increase the sharpness a little bit. You can play around with these controls and experiment with different combinations to get that perfect look for your presentation. Another great tool to get your images looking consistent throughout your deck is to take advantage of the picture color panel. So here you have saturation, which adjusts the image from very vibrant colors to black and white or grayscale, color tone, which gives your image a warmer or cooler appearance, and some recoloring presets that are based on the specific color palette of your presentation. I personally love a good black and white photo and I think they look really great in presentations. So to grayscale an image like that or to tone down the colors to a more muted look, slide the saturation slider down. If you have an image that feels a little bit too grayed out, you can also increase the saturation to give it a little bit more of a color pop. Sometimes, depending on the image, raising the saturation too much can cause some strange color shifts and unwanted chromatic aberrations, so see what works best. Adjusting the temperature of your pictures can also help make them look more cohesive. Say I like how warm this first image is. I can click on the others and adjust the temperature to give them a little bit more of that golden hue. It's a subtle change, but it does make a visual impact. PowerPoint has built-in color presets like grayscale, sepia, and washout, but also color tint effects based on your presentation's specific color palette. I don't find that I use these very often, but I have used them in the past when I've been provided a handful of images, some that are black and white and some that are color, to give them all a consistent style. Picture transparency isn't directly related to color, but it can be depending on how you use it. It allows you to change how opaque you want your image to be. This gives you so many options from layering multiple images and shapes to adding different colors, backgrounds, and effects. Which leads me to what I will be talking about in part two, stylizing bad or poor quality images using image effects and using background fills to take your photos to the next level and give them a truly unique look throughout your presentation. Thank you for following along and I hope to see you in the next one. Leave a thumbs up and a comment below if there's anything in particular that you would like to learn in PowerPoint that I can do a video on in the future. Have a good one.